a little run a little short there for the seven ball. You just play this double speed up and down the table. Just scratch in the side pocket. What a weird, what a what an angle to scratch in from there. The side pocket never moves. It was a funny angle, but they're always there. I, I didn't like I didn't like that shot choice from Johan Trotty. No, I didn't too. I, I think going up and down was better with the angle being so thin. And we've seen it in the first match how mistakes like that, easy shots, can change a match. Coping Yi gets given a gift. Looks like he's thinning the one ball, sending the cue ball down. He's got. Oh, he scratch. Oh, man. Fire at the bank shot. Make something happen. This is a disaster start for Jua. That's not a good start from Johan. So, coping Yi looking to capitalize on Johan's mistake. Looking to play one reel down for the four ball. He's got a little bit of a steep angle here. Kill ball control is perfect. Lands on the perfect angle from to get from the five to the six ball. You know, you just get the sense at the start of the game it was always going to be an uphill battle for Johan as good as he's, as he's been playing recently it's, and it's not looking good early signs are not looking good for Johan no they're not I'm afraid it's another rack on the board for coping Yi 3-0 so the first finalist for the ladies' event has come through and her name is Cheska Centeno from Philippines. She has won 9 cracks to 1 in no time at all. The other, the other semi-final between Seo Suwa and Kim Bojon. Seo Suwa is 3-1 up against Kim Bojon. Well, would you look at this for a kick shot? That is amazing. So Kao will be looking to hit full ball into the two ball like what he's lining up here or trying to cut it from the back. Hit it from the back. Hard to tell from this angle. Depends how much he can get into it. Oh, he's missed it. Wow. That's what I mean. The overhead camera there, I thought he could easy hit the two. Yeah. But maybe... a little straighter than he would like to but no problem for Cole
Coping Yi notches up his third break and run of this final. He's only broke three times. He's cleared the table all three. It's six nil. Oh wow, he's choosing. Oh, Johan is in a world of trouble right now. That he is. Six down to coping. He hooked behind the wall of balls. Yeah, if he was left handed, he could probably kick at the short rail and go to the long rail. But since he's right handed, he can't really reach it. Good hit. Has he been rewarded? I don't believe he has. I think you can see an edge and the pocket near the four ball looked big. There was the big pocket, didn't need to use the four ball. Oh, it's the first mistake of the game on rack number eight. Both underrunning the cue ball for the center pocket on the tree. He's tried to cross bank it and he's left Johan a shot. Might have landed a little straight, but no worries because the sixth ball is very near. See, so you opted to play the sixth ball in the center pocket, so you can just roll down for the seven ball. This is a very good opportunity for Johan to get his first rack on the board. With a little bit of help from Ko, Chu is off the board in this semi as he wins his first rack. But he trails 7 1. Oh, nice jump shot from Chua. Needs a little bit of luck. Bump on the six. Didn't get it. I think he might have a go at the bank shot here, you know. Yeah. In the bottom left, I think there's a bit of value. He could probably find a good safety, but you're 8 2 down. Give something a go. Can he cut it in? The eyes of these young pool players these days. He's underhit this. He has underhit it. While we're looking at the rankings, actually, I'm just going to look to see who is the second American because SVB is in. So the next American, Oscar, Dim Oscar Dominguez, excuse me. He's ranked 35th. And then Skylar Woodward. So as it stands, they're looking good. Team America as well. 34th is your, the next US player. Yes. Oh, they've really got a grip on the Europeans. Has really got a grip on these, <laughs> on the match room rankings right now. All credit to the American players, though they are still wonderful players. And Oscar Dominguez having a resurgence. Yeah, he owns a pool room in California. Keeps telling me he's retired, but he doesn't look like a retired pool <laughs> player to me. Doing well. Recently doing well in the European Open too. Went to the last 16. Yes, he got a deep run there. He played Tyler Steyer. He beat Tyler Steyer. 
Shane Wolford was there. Nicholas De Leon. It's good to see more American players travelling because it always seems to be SVB. Yeah. Good shot there to get back on this three. It was always going to be tricky because there wasn't a large portion of the rail there, was there? So he needs a good pot here if he's going to close the match out right now. It's a little bit like the first one. We felt like Aranis was going to win. But he kind of let Oi back in the match. Yeah. But you get a suspicion that this won't be the, be the case this game. Well, Aranis was 10-3 up. It ended up being 11-6. This is 10-2. Yeah. Of course, not writing off Johan now, but I think the way that Koping has been playing, I don't think that he'll be making any mistakes. <laughs> Oh, he's putting all three. Wow. I like it. Bit of a trick shot. <laughs> OK. Well, we need to get that one clipped up because that is incredible. How has he managed to put all three there? Have you ever seen anything like that on a pool table? <laughs> oh, my word. Well, it finished with a trick shot. A little bit more luck than judgment. But in the end, it was a fair result. Coping Yi played an absolute blinder. What a performance from Coping Yi.